guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Yes! It's been two weeks since our last weekly vlog and catch up. I fit tanned my face last night and I've literally just got a huge line here of where I've done it badly and also it's like clogged up around my mouth. So you're catching me at a really good time, looking beautiful. I'm joking by the way, I don't look beautiful at all. This is today's working outfit. I've got this cute little jumper on. This is from Nasty Gal. And then I've got these amazing leggings on. I've got some outrageous socks on, by the way. They're so, like, bright. But I wanted to show you guys these leggings. They are from a company called Love Leggings. You can see on the little um, logo here, it says LL Love Leggings. They are just amazing. These are from their loungewear range, and they are just unbelievably comfortable. They're so nice. I chose this warm berry colour, I think it was called, and these were kindly gifted, I forgot to say, but I also got another pair, um, I got another pair from their sports range, which I wore, not yesterday, the day before, when I went out hiking with my boyfriend, and they were so, so comfortable, honestly, like, insane, I'll put some pictures on the screen of me, like, in them, and you can see what they look like, when they get out of the wash, I'll show you as well, but, yeah, they were kindly gifted to me last week, so I thought I would quickly tell you about those before, um, before I forget, so, yeah, I got those kindly gifted, and then I also got these little socks that I've got on right now gifted as well um oh my god I like to keep you guys updated with what I get gifted because I always feel so lucky I've said it so many times I won't bore you to death again but yeah I'm always like so so grateful for anything that I get gifted so I always share it with you guys on these weekly vlogs because I feel like if I don't do a weekly vlog and you don't follow me on Instagram you never really know like the little bits that I get gifted and I think it's just always nice to see what people get so anyway yeah I'll insert a little clip now of the socks that I got I actually got these the other day through the post which I forgot to share with you guys from the amazing company put a sock in it which I literally love their socks so so much they sent me these alphabetty spaghetti socks and then this is the other one so cute you also get a few little stickers i love socks and then a little color me in card as well which is adorable so yeah you'll have seen that these guys sent me some socks before and i absolutely love them so thank you so much put a sock in it for sending me these so yeah anyway i hope you're all having a lovely week um so far i mean i think this is going to go live on sunday or maybe monday because i've got a sponsored video going live this week hopefully if it gets approved anyway and i actually don't know the day of when I meant to upload that or when I'm gonna upload it if I have a choice. So it's with wish.com if you're wondering and I'm hoping that that's gonna go live before this vlog so that then I can like talk about it freely and I've got like bits and bobs that I'm using from the video in like my everyday life so I don't wanna like keep it a secret so I'm hoping that that's gonna have worked out. So I mean if you haven't already watched that video go and watch it, I'll link it down below. So yeah that was so fun by the way doing like a sponsored video with wish.com somewhere that I've like not really shopped that much before but I've heard like so much about and I've watched so many videos of people shopping there so they got in touch and wanted to do a um video with me which was so much fun anyway I'll show you like bits and bobs that I got from there throughout this vlog and yeah um oh my god I'm just so happy to be back vlogging honestly you guys don't even like realize how much I enjoy it but last week I'll give you like a little little catch up from last week um because I didn't weekly vlog I was doing my exam um like revision and everything my fringe looks absolutely terrible I'm so sorry I was doing my revision and I actually passed my exam it was so like it was such a nice day because I honestly felt so nervous for it and to be 100% honest with you I think I could have probably done a bit more revision than what I had done I feel like though to be honest like you could revise so much and still think oh I could have done more like I'm just always that person who's like oh I could have done more though but I passed with flying colours so that's great and I was so relieved Um, it was so weird doing like my exam from home though like I set up my office and had to move everything out of the way because obviously I didn't want to be, well, you wasn't allowed to anyway have any way of cheating. So I literally just cleared out my office, realised how much shit I've got in there, by the way. Like, honestly, the amount of paper that's piled up is just insane. So, yeah, I moved everything out of there. Um, and then literally all I had on my desk was a lamp and some pens. And then this guy, like, came through my screen and was like, yeah, you need to move those. And I need to watch you move them to see where you put them in your room. So I was like, oh, my God. So I literally had to, like, prop up my MacBook. And he, like, watched me move everything. It was so weird. But anyway, yeah, did the exam. I actually did it in less time than what I got given um, which I always like got taught in school was a bad thing like use all your time like take your time and read the question and I literally just like blitzed through it a lot quicker than what I thought and ended up passing so yeah anyway I won't bore you to death with more exam talk because I know it can be a bit boring but if you are interested in digital marketing or you want to get into it or you just fancy doing a course on it um I studied with a digital marketing institute it was 
fab like honestly cannot recommend that course enough for anybody who wants to get into marketing like digitally or who works in it and wants to up the skills that's what I did anyway and it was just amazing like fab 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 would recommend it 10 out of 10 so yeah that's that done and I've actually got another little bit of news as well which I was kind of like should I even share this on the vlogs like I don't really share much private stuff um but I have actually got a new job which I just cannot believe I'm so excited and so over the moon about but yeah I've got a brand new job that I'm starting soon and I just can't wait so yeah that also happened last week and I didn't share anything about it anywhere like I've kept it really really private but that is also another reason why last week was so hectic as well it was just such a big week and I was so nervous and like I'm one of those people who does worry like even if I'm doing like the safest thing like I know everything's gonna be fine I will still like worry a little bit about it so you can imagine <laughs> with like an exam and a new job prospect in the same week I was just like oh my god so yeah um last week was just really great I mean I didn't think it was gonna be really great it could have either gone one of two ways and it did actually go really well so yeah I was really proud of myself actually my mum dad and my friend celebrated last week so much and, and my bestie as well they've all been just so lovely and I had a great week but I definitely needed to like I don't think I could have vlogged as well because I was so stressed before everything so I think I would have just like I would have just panicked so much about editing this and everything so anyway I can chill out now I can breathe I'm back back vlogging so yeah all good in the hood today's actually my mum's birthday I honestly was in the best mood this morning because I love birthdays like I just love a birthday especially if it's like I don't want to be like mean or anything here but if it's somebody who's like easy to buy for it's a lot nicer because I also feel like really excited to give them the gifts whereas if it's someone hard to buy for I'm like oh, will they like what I've got them but like my mum is so so good to buy for because it's kind of like shopping for myself she is such a good gift giver herself so like to give everything back on her birthday is just great so yeah um got her some bloom and wild flowers got her a big bag of presents anyway so i will go down and show you the flowers in a bit i'm sure she'll be putting them in a vase as we speak so yeah it was it was a nice little morning this morning i didn't vlog much i am gonna love you and leave you for now i just wanted to like say hello this morning and introduce the vlog and whatever i've got a few updates actually in terms of like little bits and bobs that i want to show you and little bits that i've changed in my room like this for example which you might Honest. but yeah um hope you're all doing really well by the way i've not said that yet um hope you're doing good hope you're keeping safe hope you're enjoying beer garden life i've not actually been to a proper beer garden yet you know i've been out for lunch but not to a beer garden i should probably do that soon but anyway right i love you and leave you and i'll speak to you soon so you guys these just came through the post it is my monthly estrid razor subscription i can't get the last one out they always put a cute little quote in as well self-care tip wear pajamas to work i promise i've never done that before while working from home promise if you don't already know estrid are an amazing razor subscription package um this is not sponsored or anything but i order my razor heads from there and my razor is from there as well it's a really really good um subscription that i've got actually it's um vegan it's just like the best razor that i've ever used really so i get four razor heads oh my god my camera's going crazy i get four razor heads every month you can like tailor your subscription to however often you shave but i just shave so much so i get four every single month but you can do it so you get like four every two months and you can literally just do whatever you want so yeah i keep them in that little glossy box bag i've actually got more than what i need right now so i might like pause my subscription for a bit to save a bit of money um but yeah i think it's about a tenner a month and eight pounds to start with so yeah would highly recommend recommend if you're looking for a good razor i literally looked for a good razor for ages and this is definitely by far the best one that i've ever used this is the current situation i have just submitted my wish haul video to the i say to the brand to wish for like approval so i'm waiting on that to see if that can go live tomorrow right so it's after work now i've got a little fleece on because i got a bit chilly but i thought i would show you guys this really really cute little storage hanger this was gifted from wish and i just really really like it i don't know how i feel about it hanging from jewels the jewelry hanger but i just thought it was really cute i also have no idea what i'm gonna put in there but i really really liked it let me know what you think in the comments I think it's really cute this is another thing i actually wanted to share with you guys so i got quite a few little storage baskets and stuff from wish this is one of them it's really cute it's got little polka dots on it and i actually emptied my my skincare storage basket and put all of my sheet masks and i've got a few eye masks at the front and lip masks as well where is that lip mask oh there it is um yeah i've got all of my sheet masks in here i have got an outrageous amount really and i've not actually had them properly organized 
in a while I've kind of just always chucked them in my skincare basket but then I've accrued so many that I've had to put them in their own little storage thing so this is a rubber mask and I actually once went to Superdrug and bought loads of like random skincare products to do a video but I didn't really get enough to actually like do a whole video so I ended up just keeping it and like hoping that I'll have enough at one point so like there's so many like little reasons as to why I've got so many a few have been gifted and then these I've actually bought myself I absolutely love the Garnier sheet masks these are my favorite the milky tissue masks love those I kind of arranged them from like face through to eye and then lips so I've got quite a few of the little eye masks eye tissue masks from Garnier as well so yeah I rearranged that I don't really know where I'm going to put it um in terms of like in my bedroom because I'm running out of storage space that is one thing that I want to do um well I'm going to have a week off in a few weeks and I really really want to spend some time like actually organizing my room and organizing what I've got and also going through like my wardrobes and stuff because I've got so many clothes that I just need to like go through and organize and I feel like I could just really really do with having a bit of a sort out so so yeah, I definitely need to do that at some point. I'm going to quickly take my makeup off. Um, is the camera ever going to stay there? I've got the worst tripod in the world, honestly. It's so bad. I'm just going to use a little bit of micellar water. I've not really got any makeup on today. Um, I've just got like mascara and then my skincare on. I just really quickly went and got this from my side cabinet because this is the current book club book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Honestly, I don't know what it is about Taylor Jenkins Reid, the author. She just grips me so much on Honestly, the way she writes is just fab. We read Daisy Jones and the Six last year in the book club and we loved it so, so much. And this was her like other book that got a lot of good reviews. This month I've actually fallen behind a little bit just because it was obviously the exam. I've had a bit of stress and I've just not had time to focus on the book. But last night I picked it back up. I'm on like page 75. I'm addicted. It's so good. So yeah, I'm hopefully going to catch you guys up. Um, anyone who's like nearly finished it or whatever because I need to release the next book for the book club. I've not actually decided what that's going to be yet so bear with me on that I'll um I'll announce it later on in this vlog I'd ask you guys what you want it to be on here but it's too late because I'll have already announced it by the time this goes live but I think I'm going to have to put like a poll or something on Instagram to get you guys to like contribute what you want to read because with me not reading this I find it hard to like think of a next book when I've not finished this one if that makes sense so yeah anyway I'm going to actually sit and just chill out and read this book now this evening with me sending like the wish video off and stuff I just feel so relieved that I've done it um it's like another thing ticked off my list for this week so yeah I'm gonna love you and leave you for today hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more exciting I'm trying to think what I'm actually up to tomorrow whether I can nip out for lunch or whatever and take the vlog I'll try to think of something exciting to show with you guys I am just about to moisturize I need to like go over my face with some micellar water this morning because I don't know like I always feel like I wake up with loads of sleep in my eyes sorry if that's disgusting but I just feel like the best thing to do before moisturizing in the morning is to give your face a little wipe if you've not got time to cleanse which I haven't I put in my normal Glossier moisturizer and lip plumping cream on lip and eye plumping cream should I say that would be weird if I didn't say that because I'm literally about to put it underneath my eyes I actually did my nails the other day um, did them in this really nice purple colour. It's quite subtle. I feel like it's a little bit, you know, it's like a muted purple colour because it's quite not in your face. And I mean, I do like in your face nails, but that's how I did them the other day. I'm actually really, really wanting to get some nail art stuff. I think I've said this on a weekly vlog before, but I'm really wanting to get some nail art stuff so that I can do like flowers and stuff on my nails. I don't know how that will go because I don't know how good it'll be. I feel like it'll take so much practice, but yeah, that's something that I want to do this year. I want to get good at nail art. Um, so I might order a kit. Who knows? Oh my god, I actually ordered some gold earrings for my second lobe piece in there because I have been, let me show you, using like a multi-pack from H&M. There is only a few left and a few of these I have used. They, they're the kind of earrings because they're quite, um, well, I don't want to say too much bad stuff because my friend actually gave me these because she didn't want them anymore but they go like silvery after maybe like a week and a half and I like shower in my earrings and everything um I don't know if you meant to do that or not but I needed some like proper nice gold earrings for here um so I've ordered some really simple little studs just because I don't feel like I will actually jazz up 
my second lobe piercing that much. I feel like I just need a goal earring in there at all times and then my main lobe I will change. So I've got some gold earrings on order. They cost me 50 quid. They're from the same place that this ring is from. Um, Monica something. I will show you when it arrives anyway. I've had a text from the Royal Mail saying that it's going to arrive on Thursday or they're going to arrive on Thursday sorry. So I'm really excited for those to come because I'm in need of some so badly. I've been using like all types of variations from that multi-pack of H&M earrings for literally like months and I just need some proper ones. It's time, it's time that I invested. So yeah, I've got some gold ones coming. I'm very excited about that. This is me literally, does anybody else do the same? Like if I've got like a little bit of leftover wipe or whatever, I'll just wipe my surfaces. I'm literally like a mum and grandma waiting to happen. Hey guys, so I'm in the car. I'm heading out for a coffee. I'm gonna go Starbucks. I'm gonna get an iced coffee. Um, I don't know why I'm like squinting so much. It's so bright outside today. You know like when it's not actually that sunny, but it's just so bright. My eyes just can't cope with it. I mean, I did actually get a text the other day from Star... I was gonna say from Starbucks. From Specsavers saying you need an eye test now the situation with me and eye tests is that oh just so unlucky with the traffic lights having to stop is basically i never had an eye test right maybe between like the ages of primary school so what is that like 10 or something i literally never had an eye test and then randomly when i was at work one time i got this email through saying that you can get a free eye test through work because obviously i'm staring at a screen all day and everything so i just thought you know what? i'm just gonna go and have one just to see just to see sorry that was an ambulance driving by just to see like what the situation is with the old eyes and i actually came out with like I don't know what it's like, 10 out of 10. I got like top marks for the whole eye situation. I was like 2020 vision, repping it up. And then I feel like now because I've been for one test, they've like signed me up to these regular tests. And in total honesty, I don't feel like I need another eye test, touch wood. My dad has got really good eyesight and my mum has got medium to bad eyesight. She wears glasses and stuff. So I'm hoping that my dad has passed on his jeans in the old eye department so that I've got good eyesight but yeah anyway um hope you're doing well today it's so weird like weekly vlogging because I always want to say like hope you're doing well today but like you're watching the same vlog like I looked at that yesterday and you'll be like yeah, yeah I'm doing good and then I'm telling you the same thing today or asking you the same thing so Ugh, anyway I'm having to use my maps for the Starbucks that I'm going to because it's not my usual one so if I keep looking over there that is why my car is so dirty right now you'll just see it in like my window but oh my god it needs to go for a car wash I might do that tomorrow or Friday at some point this week I definitely need to get my car washed because it's literally embarrassing the state of it my car is I should probably show you the outside of it at some point because I've not actually done that but um my car is basically black and then the roof is like cream I've got a Vauxhall Adam in case you're wondering or in case you care i'd never actually seen the car well i will have done but i've not really taken much notice of this car before i actually bought it so when i've seen them around literally like every box all adam has got like a base color and then a different color roof and i actually really like it i think it's really cool it's a bit like mini vibes and i love minis the actual like majority of the car is black which is obviously good normally for dirt but i don't know why all the dirt is like um, I don't really know how to say it, but like dried. So it actually does look really mucky and it's a bit of a nightmare to keep up to. Whereas I thought black would be like the best colour. It's totally not. Um, anyway, right, I'm at a busy roundabout. So I'm going to concentrate. I'm behind a big old Volvo and just go. Hello, welcome to Hiya, can I get a, bl a blonde ice latte? Yeah, anything else? And a birthday cake cookie, please. You actually ran out of a birthday cake too. Oh, that's fine. That doesn't matter then. Right, so just the, uh, ice latte. Yeah, just blonde ice latte, please. Right, Thank you. I'm so sad they've run out of bloody cookies. Again. Oh, fab. Cheers. Thank you. Honestly, guys, if you have not tried this, you need to try it. Blonde ice latte. It literally tastes amazing. I feel like some people love iced coffee, aka me, or you absolutely hate it. Like I said to my mum the other day, I came home with one of these and I got a large, don't ask why, I was just being greedy. I was like, oh my God, like you have to try this girl, like 100% you'll love it. And she was like, I hate the thought of iced coffee. Like some people just can't, 
can't get their heads around iced coffee and I mean I get it to an extent because like coffee is a hot drink isn't it let's be fair but people have obsessions with iced tea as well don't they like people love peach iced tea is it Linton or something Linton what's the brand called that do iced iced tea i remember when i used to go on holiday with my friend i used to literally go with my best friend on holiday every year and on holiday she would always get peach iced tea and i remember having a sip of it once and i just cannot cope with peach like i just hate the taste of peached peach stuff unless it's sweets to be fair but like drinks that are peach i just don't like them at all and i remember trying a bit and i was like oh my god that is disgusting like i love the idea of iced tea i think it sounds like really refreshing and lovely but the taste was just not the one so iced coffee however is is definitely the one starbucks coffee actually fun fact if you're not a fan of starbucks coffee do not be afraid like i literally could not cope with starbucks coffee before like i would have one if i was going and i didn't really have much choice but like i didn't really like the actual coffee bean whereas i always really liked costa coffee and stuff like the more tame coffee bean i was gonna say tame bean but i thought you know what that's too rude but anyway so i would literally not enjoy the starbucks coffee but then i saw on someone's instagram that they said that the blonde roast is a lot more like weak if that makes sense so i thought you know what? i'm just gonna give it a go and it honestly tastes really nice like just really really good coffee and not as strong so if you are anything like me and you don't like starbucks coffee i would still recommend this because i don't like starbucks coffee either and i like this it's insane it's really good I feel like when I first started drinking coffee, I had literally like, I remember the first ever like cappuccino I had, I was at the office in town and I remember having it and just being like so hyper after like the caffeine and like the amount I had, because they put like two shots in it, don't they? I literally sent me high. I was literally like off my face on caffeine for like hours. I was on a buzz and I loved it. Not in a weird way, not in like a druggy way, but like I loved the feeling of like being awake so much but then i feel like now like after years of drinking it it just doesn't really have that effect on me anymore but like iced coffee i think tastes stronger because you can actually taste the coffee so yeah it just actually sent me a little bit loopy um which is always good right i'm gonna carry on driving i always find it like difficult to drive and drink coffee at the same time like it's not an easy task it's not easy to multitask while driving but i'm gonna give it a good go to be fair iced coffee is pretty good because the ice doesn't melt too quickly it doesn't end up like really watery or anything not if you drink it within the first like half hour so i'm gonna carry on with my drive i'm listening to radio one oh my god i've literally just realized that a guy has been looking at me vlogging this whole time i'm all shy and embarrassed good morning happy thursday i thought i would share with you guys these tulips that i was very kindly bought by my gorgeous boyfriend the other day he literally got me like two huge bunches of flowers one of which was these tulips and honestly they have gone so crazy like, look how much they've bloomed. Look at that. Like, the petals are not even together. They're so funny. I mean, I love them, don't get me wrong. Literally, tulips are one of my favourite flowers. I just love how they look. Those have literally gone crazy. They kind of look like roses from a distance. Oh, my God, that little rogue petal. Oh. But good morning. Um, I got in the shower and washed my hair last night. Gave it a little curl. And today, it's actually looking, like, really subtly wavy, which I'm loving. I actually had a really exciting idea last night and that was to go to Primark today at lunch. I've not actually been to Primark since it reopened. I feel like I'm missing out because so many people have been and got their stuff and like topped up on the summer wardrobes and stuff. So I feel like I wanna go. So that might be happening at lunch. Oh my God, another thing that I wanted to show you guys was all the gorgeous cards that I got for doing my exam and also getting a new job. So, oh no, the petal fell. Oh, bless the little petal. I've got this really, really cool, like, weekly planner that I'm going to save for my new job. Um, I just love writing what I'm doing each day. Just, like, not doing a proper in-depth to-do list on these, but, like, just writing, like, little appointments or, like, meetings on here and just having it up in front of me or out on my desk. I just love it. I cannot wait for when I start ordering, like, new stationery and stuff for my new job. I honestly just cannot wait. Anyway, here are a few of the cards. This is such a cute one. I love that. I kind of wish my desk looked like that. Love that little plant. I might get, like, some really, really nice, like, artificial plants and stuff for the desk or for my office, should I say. This is a really, really cute one. New job. This was another cute one I got. I love the, um, I've forgotten what he's actually called, but it's like a proper thing, isn't it? Like a proper franchise. Congrats, yay, hooray. I got this one. This one was a bit of a joke, to be honest. My boyfriend got me this one because I got a new job and he was like, ah, oh, you're retiring. I was like, yeah, haha, so funny. And then a little yay, go you. My mum got me this one. So cute. So yeah, love all those cute little cards. I'm still on a little bit of a buzz from last week and like, I don't know, I always feel a little bit like 
buzzing when I'm busy and then you like actually tick loads off your list but like meaningful things. I've been thinking about this recently and like let me know what you think in the comments or message me or whatever but sorry I'm wearing this hoodie again by the way. Not hoodie like sweater. Um, Sorry I'm wearing it again nothing more I can say on it apart from sorry. Um, One thing I was thinking about was, you know like how everybody's like, oh, write to-do lists and I'm literally like this. Like I will literally write to-do lists and put on there like wash my hair or like do my nails or have a cuppa or something like that. Like I'm toying between the idea of whether that's a good idea or not because I was reading this thing the other day where it was like, we have got into the habit of writing these lists and putting like non-meaningful things on there that are actually not achieving anything. And like obviously, to counteract that like the other half of me thinks well no you need to make sure you have a coffee break or whatever like that but like I am in my mind thinking I'm achieving loads and actually all I've done is bob the kettle on like I've not actually done anything productive or actually done anything meaningful that's gonna like help me progress or help me learn or anything like I don't know whether it's actually good to do that and like write these huge hefty lists and put stuff on there that's not actually to do it's more like fun stuff or whether it's a good idea because it's kind of like that balance I don't really know and I've been like thinking about it a lot and obviously it's a bit sad that I've been thinking about it a lot but yeah I, I don't know what what I think on it really you know when you've got like two opposing opinions in your mind it's it's so weird but that's kind of what I've been thinking about this morning <laughs> such as Haddo. Anyway, yeah, I think I'm gonna head to Primark at lunch. I mean, I'm so excited to do that. These were the other flowers that I got. How gorgeous. I've got some lilies, which have literally bloomed so gorgeous. Some roses. They're so lovely. I'm honestly so, so pleased with them. It is officially coffee time. I'm gonna have a little latte. Um, if you're wondering what we use, it's the Tassimo lattes so so good i mean there's just something about having a latte rather than instant coffee isn't there and now to choose a mug i don't know what i'm feeling today i love this one to be fair i think this is the chosen one of choice today i think from memory it's from wilco's doesn't say on it wilco's or morrison's it's actually really cheap i remember i don't know what i'm doing with my thumb by the way yeah super cute mug so i think i'll have my coffee in that and i'm going to quickly show you the flowers that i got for my mum for her birthday because I know I mentioned them on Tuesday in the vlog and I've not shown you them yet so I will quickly bob this coffee on and then I will show you the flowers. So this is the Bloom and Wild bunch that me and my boyfriend got my mum. They are so gorgeous, honestly. These are some of my mum's favourite flowers. I've actually forgotten the name of them, to be honest. I know they begin with an A, but I can't remember what they're called. So that is the gorgeous bunch. They're not quite bloomed yet. They are almost there though. I reckon by tomorrow they'll be good. And these are the bunch that my grandma actually got my mum. They're so beautiful. And they're just like all of her favourite flowers. How beautiful are they? I love the colours. All the pinks. These are all the lovely cards she got. I also love this vase that my grandma got my mum. It's like a little woman. I absolutely love it. I think it's so, so cute. So yeah, we are just flowers galore in this household recently. Today just got a little bit more exciting. I have received what I think is the gold earrings. How gorgeous is this package though? I absolutely love that. Oh wow, this is so cute. It feels like so luxurious that they've packaged it like this. This is what the little box looks like. Oh my God, they're in there. Ah, they are so teeny tiny. Literally look at the size of them. They're so small. But they are genuinely gorgeous and you can tell they're really nice gold. I'm so excited to try those on. I also received a little PR parcel from a company called Pure Heavenly Chocolate. So basically all of their chocolate, they got in touch with me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to receive any chocolate. And obviously I was like, yes, free chocolate, yes please. And basically they have 2% sugar in, so they're a lot more healthy for you. They do all sorts of different flavours. I love the packaging, by the way. Strawberry, hazelnut, salted caramel, orange, banana, mint 
silk that's probably just basic chocolate and then coconut wow i'm so excited to try all these i definitely think salted caramel will be the nicest i just love salted caramel thank you so much to pure heavenly chocolate for those absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna put these earrings in now i think and see what they look like this is what they look like if it's ever gonna focus they're really cute they're like little mini eggs that's what they remind me of i really like them i honestly don't think they're gonna ever come out which honestly can you see like the h&m earrings had gone so weird and like silver yeah i'm so happy i honestly love the packaging as well i don't think i'm ever gonna throw that away and i'll probably never get rid of the bag either i've just displayed my little chocolates for an instagram story that i'm gonna take now and put on i'm so excited to try these chocolates that moment when you go all the way to primark and the queue is literally as if you are queuing to go through passport control at an airport literally such a big queue i honestly would not have had enough time to queue go have a good shop and enjoy my little self i wouldn't have had time so i had to go to m s instead didn't get anything very exciting i got some sun-dried tomatoes and some mozzarella which i put on my story and what else did i get oh, i got a few packs of crisps and i got some little mini pancakes because they looked really cute yeah actually a bit disappointed to be honest i feel like i need to time my visit better because obviously i went at lunchtime i feel like the hype is still on to go to primark so i should probably go either late at night or first thing in the morning um but not lunchtime because it turned out it wasn't a very good time to go anyway i tried i tried i tried and failed but i've had an idea for the next book club book um i actually did put a poll on for you guys to vote what you wanted to read i actually got a few specific responses saying this book which is the thursday murder club by richard osmond and i also got a few responses that literally just said like something different something exciting and i feel like this is that so i think i'm gonna make this the next book club book so yeah i feel like this will be a really really good choice for the next book club so i think i'm gonna release that probably tomorrow or at some point over the weekend i am wearing the oldest top ever i've literally had this for years yeah i remember going to marbella like years ago and wearing this top like in the airport it's the most light cool top ever um and it's just really casual i've just been to starbucks with my friend i didn't vlog it or anything because we kind of were having a bit of a i'm trying to get my cushion by the way i'm looking very very close to the camera but yeah we had a really really nice little catch up i didn't vlog it um got a nice coffee obviously but i'm home now and i wanted to do some skincare skincare don't even know why i'm doing this with my fringe because i'm literally just about to tie it back because i'm gonna do if i can find it anywhere a face mask very excited to do this one i haven't done a sheet mask in a while actually my hair is literally looking so crazy but um yeah i'm gonna quickly put this one on this is the garnier nutri balm milky tissue mask intensely nourishes and restores for dry and uncomfortable skin i think i'm actually gonna really quickly put some micellar water on my face just to get rid of the spf because i did actually put some spf on before i went out which i did forget about the milky masks are a little bit different to the usual sheet masks so they are literally in um this like white i'm trying to open the packaging so i can show you but they're kind of in this like white moisturizer and it's literally just covered in it like this I'm saying it as if you've never tried a sheet mask I'm just presuming that you don't know what these ones are like oh my god it's so cool I'm presuming that has gone on the right way is there a right and wrong way to put the first mask on I mean as in like which side oh my god it honestly feels so nice I think I'm gonna sit and read my book and let this soak in oh my god my hands are literally just full of the moisturizing stuff I don't know about you, but I always leave my face masks on for longer than what it says in the packet. I left this one on for about 20 minutes. Oh God, this honestly leaves a lot of residue on your face that you have to massage in after. I will leave that for about two minutes and then I will dab it with a little cotton pad or something because it's literally like proper moisturizer. It's even moisturized my little eyebrows. Here is to smooth skin and sheet masks. Oh my God, it's finally friday i am so buzzing it's the end of the week main reason being i'm going out for drinks tomorrow probably the main reason why i'm so excited to be honest just to get out of the house and actually like have proper plans at the weekend but i'm actually going out with work today so i am making a little bit of an effort the alarm this morning 
my voice is still croaky because I've not had breakfast or coffee, but the alarm this morning went off at half five rather than half six. So I have literally been like, I mean, I tried to get back to sleep, but like, you know when you've been woke up and it's just like, you're never gonna properly get back to sleep again. Like I'm one of those people who, if you wake me up, like I'm up, like there's no, oh yeah, I'll get, I'll go back to sleep unless I'm like, really tired or i'm like on holiday or something like that just never ever happens your gal is probably gonna feel quite tired today i am just in the middle of doing my makeup um almost there now just got to do my mascara and what else am i looking for some sort of like lipstick but then again i'm gonna go have breakfast so there's probably no point in doing that got a very smart little polo t-shirt on today this is from monkey i've had it a while but i really really like it i just think it looks really smart good for a video call if you want to like look smart on the top half and then you can put your joggers on on the bottom half and some funky socks i have been watching anastasia however you say it king's north's videos and she's moved out to manchester she's a youtuber in case you didn't know she's moved out to manchester and she lives on her own in her apartment and it's honestly watching her videos just makes me so excited to move out like i don't personally want to live in an apartment in manchester or in any city center like that's just not the life for me i don't particularly want the stuff that she's got but the actual idea of like moving out i don't know it gets me thinking a lot like when i watch her videos and i've been watching one as i've been doing the first half of my makeup this morning and i don't know if any of you guys are in the same boat as me if you're like young 20s and you're still living at home but like the thought of moving out is there like it's something that's on my mind quite a lot recently i personally don't I can't see myself living in an apartment. Don't like the thought of somebody living all around me. Um, I want a house. I mean, it might sound snobby and I'm really sorry if it does, but but I would literally love to, to buy a little house and like do it up or something. In case you're wondering what mascara I'm using, I'm using the Glossier Basic Mascara and then I'm just putting a layer of this Kiko Unforgettable Mascara over the top. It's just got this kind of brush, so it's just nice for curling your eyelashes after you've put like the basic layer on. Um, this is what they look like. I'm pretty much ready to go, to be honest. I've got, like, natural makeup on today. I'm staying at home and doing a little bit of work, and then I'm heading out for the day. Not for the day, but, like, for a few hours. I actually got the approval on my Wish video last night. I think it was last night. Yeah, it was last night. So that's actually going live today. Today is Friday, obviously, so the video will definitely be live by the time you're watching this. So if you've not watched it, go have a little watch. I am also going to, at some point this weekend... You can't really see. Oh, there you go. Can you see the book? <laughs> That's the Thursday Murder Club by um, Richard Osmond and I'm going to release that either today or tomorrow for the book club. So that's another thing I need to do. I'm just like telling you my to-do lists in a kind of positive way. Okay, so I actually ended up getting changed. I've got on this really cute little t-shirt, which is so old. It's literally like years old. And then I've also got these really smart, like smart trousers on. These are from ASOS. I really, really like them. They are so, so comfortable. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about my appearance today is that my face is considerably darker than my neck. I've also got a huge line here. Love my life. I actually think I'm going to end the weekly vlog round about here just because I have got a lot of editing to do before Sunday to get this like live and I'm also going out tomorrow night and I just don't know how I'm going to do it all. Thank you so, so much for watching this weekly vlog. I feel like it was just like a catch up weekly. Like I don't actually feel like I've actually done much this week in terms of like on the vlog, but I really, really want to go to Primark next week if I can. I cannot believe I drove to Primark and I went to Ebenez instead. But the queue was just so long yesterday. It was literally a joke. So I am hoping that I get to do that next week. So hopefully next week will be a bit more exciting. So yeah, I hope you all have a fabulous week. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog as well. Keep safe, um, keep well, and I will see you next week for a new weekly vlog. And hopefully now I've got a little bit more time, like I'm not studying and stuff. Hopefully I will get a chance to film other videos as well, like not just weekly vlogs. I want to do a big Primark haul for a start, so... Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!